Uh, hi, my name is Paul from Sacramento, California, USA. And this is my first aquaponics setup. A uh, little desktop system. A lot of other people have made uh, home aquaponics videos and they've been very helpful to me, so I'm hoping this will be helpful to somebody else. So this is my family's existing 29-gallon uh, tank. It's about 110 liters. Uh, we got a few fish in there, uh, a couple of neon tetras and a little hyperkinetic uh, catfish. And the main thing we have is a placostomus that over the years has grown to about 10 inches, about 25 centimeters long. That's right there. You can see him clean it off the glass right now. This uh, tank has a nice little uh, filter on the side with a little bio wheel for uh, you know nitrifying bacteria that kind of thing but now we've got it set up as an aquaponic system yeah so up top we have this little grow bed it's about uh, seven and a half gallons it's like what 28 liters something like that I've got it full of those expanded clay pellets that they use in hydroponics and I uh, planted a few just a few clippings from the garden recently uh, right in the center is uh, uh, salvia it's got some pretty flowers that'll hopefully grow and over on the right side there is some lobelia cuttings and some seeds and I put some lettuce seeds in there We'll see how this goes. So if you're not familiar with aquaponics, uh, the way it works is this. Uh, right in the center you'll see got a little pump submersed in the fish tank. It's a little 12 watt pump. And you can see the tube going up top. The tube goes up into the grow bed. Uh, you can't see the tube right now. It comes around the back and then you can see it come down into the top of the grow bed on the upper right part of the screen. So the pump fills up the, the grow bed full of fish water. Right now it's off because it's pretty noisy once it gets splashing around. I wanted to make the video. But maybe we'll try it out a little bit. Uh, when the water gets up to the top, you'll see that little black device in the middle. That's a bell valve, or what you call a bell siphon. And there's another home aquaponics guy named Afnan in Malaysia. And he's got a lot of stuff on the web. And his design was very helpful on the web for me to get this together. Let me take this off. There you go. There's the inside. It's got a little funnel to cause a little venturi effect to help the siphon, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's get this thing cooking. Hang on a minute. Okay, the grow bed is filling up full of water. We'll see. Yeah. This goes pretty quick because it, you can see the water is right about this level. It'll get up to about here and then it'll start flushing. Over in that corner I've got another stand pipe. That's an overflow pipe so if the pump keeps going and for some reason the siphon thing isn't working or whatever, the water will go down that white tube and right straight down into the fish tank below. Okay, another inch or so on there. When the water comes up through that black tube and into the siphon, it'll go down through the center of the siphon, through there, and down into the tank. Oh, here it's starting. Got flow, and got the siphon. Ah, you can see the water line on the grow bed dropping. And then the siphon quit and the cycle will start over again. Okay, well that's the nickel tour. Uh, thanks very much for watching.